Now to our news hour share, something that caught our eye. While most of the country is ready for spring, I know I am, some extreme athletes out west are more than happy to savor the last bit of winter. Julia Griffin teamed up with Montana PBS for this report. In Big Sky, Montana earlier this month, snow fell gracefully and seasoned skiers readied for competition. But hold your horses. This was not your average ski race. Welcome to the rough and tumble world of ski joring. Ski joring is a horse and rider pulling a skier through a series of gates and jumps in the least amount of time possible. Scott Ping has been a ski joring rider for more than 20 years. My horse Kona is the best ride ever. I just sit there and go, yeah, <laughs> that's all I do. He does all the work. Riders like Ping tow their teammates through a 700 foot obstacle course at nearly 35 miles an hour. The skiers weave among slalom gates and launch from snowpack jumps. Should they drop their rope or fail to stay upright, the team's run is disqualified. You want to go fast, but you don't want to go too fast as to where you lose your skier. Horse lover Melissa Ostrander ran the entire Montana ski joring circuit this year. You got to pay attention to your skier. You got to know your horse and you got to control your horse. That's, that's the hardest part about being a rider. Is, is making sure that you don't hurt anyone else, your horse, your skier, anybody around here, and making it fun for everyone. While the name may be unfamiliar, ski joring isn't new. A version of the adrenaline-filled sport was an exhibition event at the 1928 Olympics in St. Moritz, Switzerland. We're coming around to the halfway point. Today, participants of all ages and experience levels compete across the U.S. and Canada. Pete Jensen and his wife Anna are full-time ski patrollers at Big Sky Resort. They race together at ski joring events. She says couples that play together stay together and I say anytime you can put two sports together it's twice as fun. She likes going fast on the horse, I like going fast on skis and it all came together really well. For the pros, bragging rights, buckles and big bucks are up for grabs. At some competitions, prize purses can top $20,000. But for most, the camaraderie of the tight-knit sport is the biggest draw. It's basically a big family, and we come together at this event and say our howdies, get along, drink some beer, and, and go racing. Official ski joring competitions will return to the Rocky Mountains next December. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Julia Griffin. The key is knowing when to let go.